Hmm. The iPhone don't really look the same. Let me try to get right. I fix this camera. I might have to do this on my Android. I don't really like the iPhone, man. Okay. You can see. So I'm just diving in based on what I'm looking at. So some people, rise and grind, King, what's happening? So some people be asking me, I be telling people, because when I'm generally talking, or when anyone generally talks, a lot of people bring up the biblical references. Today I'm actually going to find a verse from yesterday I was talking about mentioning women, listening, or not talking something about men, I, something like that. Because even when you look at shows like Kevin Samuels, which a lot of women hate, because it's talking directly about them. I personally had a dispute with this one chick. Um, it was actually one of my girlfriend's clients. They all love speaking with me and having conversations. They be like, oh, he's a genius and all that stuff. And I really appreciate it. But this one particular lady whose uh, life screwed her over because of how she wanted to act and how she wanted to be masculine. Um, I just generally asked, like, hey, so what do you think about Kevin Samuels? Everything went left. She started to go on a whole rampage, didn't like me from there. I just left. It was the most ignorant conversation I ever had. Anyway, so I was mentioning yesterday about the um, Bible saying there's water above. So a lot of people, when you mention things like this, they say, oh, but NASA, look, they're in space. So I just came across this thing on my IG, and I just wanted to show y'all. Because um, I'm going to upload this on YouTube. That's why I do them. I use live so I can upload to YouTube right now. Um, that's really my main goal with it. Um, eventually, I'm going to be worrying way, a lot more about the numbers, the viewers, all that stuff. Right now, it doesn't matter. Um, so, uh, let me go to it. It's this real I've seen. Now, look how look how they can make your head do this. Because people claim, oh, but they're in space. Because how did... It's called... <laughs> just... A whole team of people spending a lot of time on things. You'll figure it out. This is a commercial. This is the lady in space. iPhone doesn't record the best. So here she's in space. Here's the commercial on Earth. You tell me what's the difference. Seltzer has zero grams of sugar. It's light and refreshing. Perfect to drink I'm about, to, I'm about to restart this on my Android. I don't know why the quality looks like this on iPhone, man. I'm really not feeling it. But y'all get it, right? Y'all get it. It's bugged out, man. I don't know. But um, in other news, uh, Afghanistan... You know, they're going crazy in Afghanistan right now, right? Also, Australia, they're going crazy. Let's check out Australia. Again, I really don't like doing uh, my lives from iPhone. The quality is just not the same, but check this out. So, Australia has become an official police state right now. This is what's Mama, happening. Wear a mask and make sure you keep up that physical distancing. Mm -hmm. Pass. Stay local and do not congregate. Don't talk to your neighbours. Please keep to your bubbles. It comes down again to those very simple principles. We know from overseas uh, cases of the Delta variant that it can be spread by people simply walking past one another. So keep those movements outside to the bare minimum. Wear a mask and make sure you keep up that You know what's distancing. worse? You know what's worse than outside. walking past someone and getting something? Eating and getting something. You can eat yourself to death, COVID or not. You can stay in a bubble and eat yourself to death. That's what they ain't telling y'all. That's what y'all probably ain't even thinking about. And it's so funny. At this point, they're telling people, don't talk to your neighbors. Y'all don't see what's going on, right? Y'all can't tell, yo, you can't tell me you don't see this. Y'all don't see this? Next thing you know, motherfuckers gonna be inside their houses. And then the stores ain't gonna be opening back. The stores ain't going to be opening back. So what happens after that point? Food shortage, famines. They already paying the farmers to destroy their cop their crops. And I got time today. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just caught me in the right instance of a moment. You know what I'm saying? I pulled the receipts up. So I did mention something yesterday about a Bible verse. And I have to get the receipt on that. So 
Um, I'm gonna do a quick Google search so I can find out. I don't. I'm not super religious, so if I don't know it off the top of my head, don't you know what I'm saying? I'm just very open minded. I just I just like to have the biblical references for people who do refer to certain things in the Bible because. First things first, the Bible contradicts a lot of things that it says, period. You know what I'm saying? Like, even at one point, somebody pointed out the Bible started off talking about God, or no, or the Lord, and then there's the Lord God. So there's God, and then there's the Lord God. Like, anyways, we ain't gonna spend too much time into that. You know, and then I gotta pull receipts up and all that, but um, it's deeper than a lot of people think. So let me see, what did I say again? Um,. Bible, oh man, I gotta look at, I gotta look up daylight, cause I really, I peeped this off from my man daylight. I ain't washed my face or anything, y'all. So bear with me. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's seven something right now, which is not that early. Bible verse. Mm. <laughs> I'm looking this thing up. This is Bible verse. Let me see. Come on, turn around. Bible verse, woman quiet. <laughs> I think that's what I was referring to. Uh, let me see. I guess it's popular. Say about silent woman. Women are to be silent and ch okay. Okay, so so this is a little deeper than what I was what I was uh what I was referring to. But I don't know what y'all gonna say about this, especially if you do want to use anything referenced out the Bible. Then you have to respect it all. You can't be flip floppy. Me, I'm not religious, period. So it doesn't matter to me what they're saying. I look at principles, laws, principles, and correlations. That's that's my whole thing. The LPC. Not the other thing things. The LPC. The law, principles, laws, principles, and correlations. That's what I stand on. You know what I'm saying? I believe once you are fully aware of laws, principles, and correlations um you know from area to area or whatever just in general you you can create a nice solid foundation of information to stand on you know and um you can overstand not understand like, you know how you stand on top of a doormat that understands you because you stand on top of it we ain't gonna go too deep in that some people is gonna it's gonna make their head explode and I'm not, I'm not trying to be, yo, they really be people. There's always going to be people who's going to go against whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just because that's how it is. You know what I mean? So not everything is directed towards the general person. Like if you see me in person, I'm not going to try to argue with you. I really just going to be on some positive vibes and good energy, you know? So when y'all watch from my stuff, my material, if you may, if you don't like it, you don't, if you disagree, that's fine. We all have our own different opinions and things that makes us different and, and differentiated. And the internet is a place where people can create their own little worlds and their own little bubbles. Some people just choose to take it very, very far. And I think that's the problem right now. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't understand like, yo, when you hop on somebody's page or whatever, that's their own world. They have a right to do and say whatever they want. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole purpose of them having their own profile page and having their followers. That's the whole point. They could do it like even, you know, the uh, like women who get on IG and, and you know, they're supermodels now or whatever. And they got their OnlyFans followings. That's their world. If you got a problem with the OnlyFans and this and that, that then don't go on the page. Don't follow it. You know, you got a problem with somebody talking about eating a certain way. Don't follow it. Don't look at it. But we're in a, such a triggered society right now it's just bugged out like people get offended over everything and it's like really weird so i just say all that to say you know i really just utilize these platforms just to just to kind of talk my shit because in person i'm not gonna i'm not gonna sit here and, and and use that time to argue with a human being but i will be myself and put my thoughts out there because other people may have other pieces to the puzzle this is how this is how we get further in life you know what i'm saying it's different views, different points, different perspectives, and we all put everything together, you know, we can start to move forward, we can build, you know what I mean? But um I just say a lot, like I said, just to clarify, um, I talk I talk a lot about health and things like that, and a lot of people might take offense to it, but it really is all out of love. Like, even if you know what I'm saying, you got a little belly or whatever like that, if I see you in person, trust and believe it's gonna be all love. 
But when I speak on these things, just understand I'm saying it because I love y'all. For real talk. I love everyone watching, everyone who will see. I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, if somebody else won't tell you, like I just watched one of the bloggers talk about Lizzo, you know, and he was saying how her Lizzo fans be lying to her, you know? And I'm like, I ain't gonna cap. I agree. And I think Lizzo's cool. You know, Lizzo has uh, a great voice. You know what I'm saying? She got a great voice. She seemed like she got a really great personality. But my whole thing on that is like, yo, why are people lying to her? If y'all really love Lizzo, tell Lizzo the truth. Yeah, Lizzo's supposed to be going vegan and this and that. But tell Lizzo like sometimes like, hey, Lizzo, you know, um, you might not want to be wilding out like this because of, of your image. That's like right now, if I start taking my, sh like, going naked on IG or something and acting like a caveman or something. I don't know. Or saying, oh, we all need to be free. You got to understand there's there's things you can and can't do. That's just, like, a principle of this world. You know what I'm saying? We live by certain things. Like, we wear clothes now in society. So, if you want to hop on the ground, because she, she claims, oh, people are bullying me, this and that. Lizzo talks about being bullied. And my whole thing is, like, it's funny because when you throw gender into something, everything changes. Because men, they're gonna give it to they're gonna give it to us. We fat, this and that going, they're gonna let us know. They're gonna make us feel that. Especially these these chicks out here. Oh, I don't want no fat nigga. I don't want no bro nigga. And that they're gonna let you know. I've heard a chick even say she don't wanna she don't wanna rock with guys if they don't sell drugs. I'm literally watching something right now where Asian doll says to talk to her, you got to, uh, I, I, no, Asia the brat says that you got to have at least three bodies to talk to her or date her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, everybody has their own worlds and stuff like that. But again, if I see y'all in person or whatever, it's literally all love. Whatever I'm saying on here is literally because... If, if if you were to say certain things to people, it, it's, it might, it, like, no matter what, you can't, you can't, you can't make everyone happy. You can't appease everybody. You know what I'm saying? So, I've learned you just got to be yourself, you know, and speak your truth to as best as you can without looking to generalize or say anybody name or anything like that. That's another thing I won't do. Now, I'm mentioning Lizzo and people like this because people are already talking about them. It's no secret. Like, they're out there online. Like I said... She out there doing the doing the, the most craziest things, knowing that she's considered obese. Not even considered. Like, look at a skeleton. Like, we're not. That's not normal. And they're trying to make that normal. But we all know there's so much health problems associated with that. And she's trying to play victim. This is where we're at. And to me, that's like why. Also, sometimes I speak a lot on mental health because something got to be wrong for you to clearly know you're at risk. At such, you're a high risk. Of things happening to you, but you want us to sit around and make you feel good about that. There's a deeper problem than you thinking people's attacking you. You know what I'm saying? Like, why do you even think this way? Why do you think to push this unhealthy lifestyle? That's like if I eat dirt, you know what I'm saying? And I'm literally on Instagram eating dirt. And people are like, what the hell, bro? What are you doing? This And, and I'm, oh, you're bullying me. Nah, bro, you eating dirt. You kind of bugging right now or eating concrete. Or drinking toilet water. It's like, bruh, people are gonna be like, yo, it's not bullying. There's a fine line between bullying and telling somebody the truth. And nowadays, that line is is like erased. Let's say it was like a sand line. It like it, it don't exist no more. So, anyways, it's just it's just wild, man. Where we're at and stuff like that. You know, they don't even want people to communicate and do this anymore. So, I mean, I don't know. So right now I'm looking for I'm looking for this uh let me see I'm looking for this verse man let's see even talk about women's women being judge yourselves is it proper for a woman to pray to God with her head uncovered hmm that's 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 deep that's deep right here if they wish to inquire about something they are at they are to ask their own husband at home for it is dishonorable for a woman to speak in the church. Oh, Corinthians uh, 1435. If they wish to inquire about something, they are to ask their own husband at home for it is dishonorable for a woman to speak in the church. We don't go by any of these things anymore. And I, why am I talking about women? Because like I said, like, you know, it's funny too. 
I find it sad, like, when a guy says certain things, the first people to try to step up and try to, like, arg be argumentative will be women. And, like, specifically with the black race, this has been done by design. Willie Lynch, it's no secret. You take the woman, make her the head of the household. You turn the light-skinned slaves against the dark-skinned slaves. And you make the man emo uh, emotionally weak but physically strong. The women physically um, weaker, obviously, but emotionally stronger than the man. So it's like, and you see it. And now there's like this, this, this feminine masculinity, you know, just like what Kevin Samuels was arguing with that chick. And she was like, I forgot what the hell. She, she was just saying some outlandish stuff. And y'all know, y'all know. She was saying the most wildest outlandish, like most masculine stuff. And I'm like. You really wonder why you're single. Like, again, this is the word of mental health. Like, I feel right now the world is a big-ass mental asylum. For real. For real. And that's why I'm saying, like, yo, like, I'm going back and forth with these fools on this one post about the damn zebra I was telling you about. And they really trying to t tell me, oh, well, animals kill and do this. So how you get mad when humans do that? Da They're animals. Like, <laughs> Come on now. Like, I have to break that down to you to, to tell. This is why we're at a point now where people are saying that a, a child can be born a girl and then they won't give it a gender and allow the child to create the gender. This is why we are where we're at. People don't give roles and rules to things like people think, oh, if an animal could do this, I could do it. It's like people who do bestiality, but it's a crime, right? You can't go out and fuck a zebra. Or have sex with a with a freaking pig or a horse. Your ass going to jail. So you can't say, oh, well, animals have sex with other animals or this and that. Why can't I? Because you're a human being. <laughs> That's why. And people justify animal behavior towards humans. It's, oh, I'm an animal. I'm a sow. All right. Now, again, this is why we are where we're at. We're literally every day watching news people read to us. These people literally read to us. Just watch. They're always reading. They never just... They, some, they get these scripts. Who creates scripts for them? Do they write their own scripts? They write their own scripts? You really think they write their own scripts, huh? Okay. Anyways. So, I'm just looking into, like I said, a little stuff for these receipts as far as I was saying. Uh, let me see. Uh, 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 uh. What is that verse? Daylight. Daylight. I'm going to put daylight after this. Let me see if it comes up. I swear he bodied this chick with this verse. He bodied this chick with this verse, bruh. <laughs> but, um, and this is not even to be like, 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 um, what's the word? Like, like in your face, bitch. Like, not like that. Like, this is just because, like I said, a lot of... A lot of women, like, literally will grab their nuts. Like, in New York, chicks will literally tell you suck their dick. Suck my dick, nigga. Like, and it's like, <laughs> you feel me? So, these same chicks will use biblical references at times. That's why I'm like, please don't. I'm about to destroy you because you're not even supposed to be talking right now. Like, I'm here. Like, a man is present. A man is teaching. You're not supposed to be speaking. You know, and again, I don't want to misquote it. I'm just saying, you know, that's why I'm trying to find it right now. And if I don't find it today, I'm going I'm to say it on my next live because I just I just like to back up and have my receipts. Even if you have all your receipts, people still going to be weird and all that. So it don't even matter to me. At the end of the day, it is what it is. You know, you're not going to win with everybody. You know what I'm saying? You're really not. So let me see. It's a lot. It's a lot of these damn quotes. Whoo. Oh, this is the same one with the Corinthians. This one says 14 colon 14 dash 35. I don't know how the verses and this that works just yet. So, you know, you can bite my head off if you want. I, I haven't read the Bible at this point. So I just know little bits and pieces of things. So um, and that's why, again, I had these combos. That's how I learned a lot about different things like that. You know, again, I'm very open minded. So it says the women should keep silent in the churches for they are not permitted to speak, but should be in submission as the law also says. 
If there is anything they desire to learn, let them ask their husbands at home. For it is shameful for a woman to speak in church. That's in the Bible, man. Let a woman learn quietly with all submissiveness. Let a woman quietly learn with all submissiveness. I do not permit a woman to teach or to exercise authority over a man. Rather, she is to remain quiet. For Adam was formed first, then Eve. And Adam did not deceive, but the woman was deceived and became a transgressor. All right, Timothy. 2 colon 11 dash 14. Don't laugh at me while I'm saying this because y'all know how to, oh, it's it's Timothy Bible verse quote number, you know, section. Y'all know how to do that. I I got to, you know, I, I, I'm I not that, you know, it's crazy. I went, I did like, I was like, I would go to a Catholic church growing up with my peoples. Why were, why are they Catholic? I don't know. But, um. Jamaicans, I don't know if a lot of Jamaicans are Catholic or whatever, but my people were Catholic. And I used to be like, damn, why am I only the black kid? Why am I the only black person in here? Like, it was always a little weird. Um, not because, I mean, I'm just like, damn, why, why aren't more black people coming to worship here? It's just like, I was literally always like one of three to five black people in the church. Like, from New Jersey all the way down to Florida. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I went to i did my communion and all that stuff but um i don't I, I still don't know to this day it hasn't stuck with me how to <laughs> decipher what timothy two cold like that means so i'm like what did all this really mean you know what i'm saying i don't go to catholic church or any of these churches no more like it's crazy because then when i was in new york with my dad they went to baptist now of course at baptist you know and i knew that because every time i go, I go to like relatives churches and stuff like that we like and it was Baptist. I I ain't gonna count. I feel home because people look like me. Not that I don't mind. I'm just like damn. Like sometimes it's just like damn everywhere. Like is this telling me something? Like am I really in the right place? Like why is there so many people who don't look like me in this motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? So and then when I was at Catholic Church, I just I never felt like home. It's I don't know how it never felt home. It was weird. Like you know what I'm saying. It just, I don't know. And there's always a lot of older, older white people. Not, not being like, there's help. There's white people in my family. So don't think it's just what it is. There's a lot of older white people there. And I'm like, damn, I guess older white people is the only people who care about God because there wasn't no younger white people and there wasn't no black people, at least in the Catholic churches. But anyways, that's what that says. So, um, that, that's Timothy. This one's Timothy. I don't, I didn't see the one Daylight was talking about, but again, I'm going over all this because, like I said, a lot of times, even when you watch Kevin Samuels, these women will try to argue over talk and this and that. And then they try to go to the use by biblical references. First of all, if you're using biblical references, shame on you, because if a man is to it literally says it right here. Let a woman learn quietly with all submissiveness. I do not permit a woman to teach or to exercise authority over a man. Rather, she is to remain quiet. So, that's what it is. And, you know what I'm saying? And that's not that's not how a lot of people be living nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, and I'm pretty sure, I forgot which one uh, he specifically said about, but you get the point. Y'all get the point. I think I made enough of a point. And if not... Kick rocks. I don't care. I'm not looking to satisfy everybody. I don't care to do all that. Um. So, yeah. So, in Afghanistan, because I did start off on that. And, again, you know, I'll I be bouncing around a little bit with everything. We're not, like, we on orthodox. You know, we just, we just float. Like Bruce Lee said, be water. Be like water. You know what I'm saying? Bruce Lee said, just be like water. That's all you got to do. Feel me? I wish I had the little drip splash effects on you. Be like water on God. You know what I'm saying? Trying to see. Share a photo. Nah, I ain't doing all that. Oh, y'all want to see something fun? Man, I should show y'all some of my funny stories on here. I'm, I never used this before, but I thought this was funny. Let's see how this looks. All right, 
I, I'm guilty. I get I get a little too carried away with the filters on IG sometimes. A little too carried away, okay? Here's one more. What's the other funny one I had? That was one of the ones I thought was hella funny. Oh, man. To the bare minimum, wear a mask and make sure you keep up that physical distancing. Oh, my God. Uh, stay local. Up. Stop reading to me. Fucking story time. Every time. <laughs> this one was funny to me. I ain't saved this one. I'm hot. How do I go back on this? Oh God, why is that working? Oh. I don't know where my other. Where's the funny one at? No. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 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 this is what happened. I thought about a vaccine shot, and this is what happened. Just look. I'm lying. I mean, I didn't think about it, but. Just like the immune system on God. Oh, God, I'm about to keep me some of this lemon balm. You already know, man. I got these COVID side effects, so I got to boost my immune system. I'm lying. I ain't got no COVID side effects. But I take the vaccine and my mouth is done with this. I don't know why. Oh. I'm all sparkly. Thanks to the dandelion. Thank you, dandelion. What would I do without you? I wouldn't be able to cleanse or to detoxify my body to the point where I'm squeaky clean. Look at me. I'm sparkling everywhere. Don't you want you some dandelion too? Oh, God, it didn't make your jury glisten. It didn't make your cabinets glisten. It didn't make things that's not supposed to glisten glisten, like... My Walmart flip-flops. Or not flip-flops, my Walmart shoes. Oh, God. Tell y'all, man, you eat right before night. <laughs> oh, God, man, I be having too much fun with the filters. Stay local. So, yeah, Do man. Not- so we're going we gonna to get serious now because I'm like, I'm having too much fun going crazy, going wild. I ain't even had the tags on my other YouTube video. I'm having too much fun. I ain't checked my emails yesterday. I ain't checked any of my emails. I'm completely acting up. Missed like a few phone calls, all types of stuff. Anyways, I don't know. That was probably my lazy day yesterday. The work went to the gym and all that stuff too. So anyways, I figured this out. So y'all, um... We got to get serious. So Afghanistan, man, they're going crazy over there. They're like, they had what we had at the White, you know, when the White House stuff popped off and they was invading the White House, they pretty much did the same thing in Afghanistan. Um, is this a PSYOP event? Somebody asked me, is this a PSYOP event? I don't know. I don't know if it was scripted. We're in a movie. What do I know? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Just like are these people actually getting into the White House and breaching all the security? I find that so hard to believe. But again, you know, Pluto was a planet when I was in school. They say Pluto's not a planet now. I don't know. They Anything goes at this point. The, his story is just that. His story. You know, whatever the narrator says is what it is. So the narrator says that Afghanistan are going crazy right now. All this and that. These are just little, little, like, foreseen, foreseens of what's going to happen here. Or what could possibly happen here. Let's be positive now. Um, but y'all also seen the clip I showed y'all with the Australian news and the people's talking about, uh, oh, um, freaking, uh, what was she talking about? Oh, don't talk to your neighbor, and this and that, and all this freaky stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like. Bruh, if we're getting to that point, I'm going to tell y'all right now. Y'all better start racking up. Go to the store and get you some waters. Go get y'all some waters. 
I'm finna re up my damn self. You know what I'm saying? Finna re up. You better go to the store, grab y'all some waters. Gotta navigate through all the madness. Get y'all some waters right now. God, I'm I'm slacking. I'm slacking, bruh. The water cabinet is slacking. I'm slacking. I'm totally slacking. Pl hold on. I mean, I gotta walk around this way. Damn it. All this stuff. All this stuff in the crib. Now I gotta finish doing the laundry. Get y'all. Matter of fact, I ain't even gonna try to show y'all my stashes ashes. But <laughs> just know it doesn't end there. But real talk, yo, y'all gotta y'all gotta get y'all rack up on water. You know, and this is what a lot of the people ain't saying right now. You know, a lot of people's talking about bullshit. And then when shit hit the fan, everybody gonna be scrambling fighting over toilet paper all over again. So get y'all some toilet paper. Make sure you have enough toilet paper to last you two months. Okay, two months. So in case anything happens, two months of, of toilet paper. Get y'all like two months supply of water. You know what I'm saying? Um, what else y'all gonna need? Canned foods. Stack up on canned foods. I would suggest beans, like navy beans. Why? Shout out to Rizza Islam. And I always look to give credit and give people their flowers because I didn't acquire all this knowledge myself. I watch a lot of people. I do a lot of searching. Um, all day I look to just learn. I watch TV um, or none of that. I just look to educate, educate, educate. Knowledge, knowledge, like, knowledge turns me on. I don't know. It's weird. Like, I'm a super nerd. Just in case y'all ain't know, like, super nerd. I, on the low, like in school, when I when people would see my report cards, they would thought I like made put together my report card. They thought it was somebody else or something like that. I swear to God, I used to get me so pissed off because I think I'm like, damn, just because I'm I'm like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool that I can't be smart. What is this? This is preposterous. I don't know what this guy is doing. Anyways, yeah, so get y'all some navy beans because navy beans, um, my man Rizza said that they help against like radiation or something like that. You know what I mean? So get y'all some navy beans. Um, get y'all some ackee on God if you eat. If you know about that ackee. See, when I was eating on the scavenger diet, matter of fact, I hope people don't get it. I know people will get offended too when I say the scavenger diet. Here's why I say that because... Uh, by it, I at, when I was eating meat, I would say I would call it a scavenger diet. I'd be like, "Damn, we're scavengers too." Because when I learned about scavengers, like something that feeds off of of dead animals, and I'm like, "Humans feed off of dead animals." Just because you call it meat, don't mean it's not a dead animal that you're cooking. The animal just don't cook it; they eat it raw. You know what I'm saying? How you're supposed to eat meat raw? You know what I'm saying? You, that's how you're supposed to eat the meat. But people want to season it and put plant based seasons on it. Again, this asylum society we're in, people put plant-based seasons to make their meat taste good when their meat eats plants. <laughs> That's how you get nutrients. The nutrients comes from the plants that the animals eat. Even if lions eat zebras, zebras eat the freaking grass, you know what I'm saying, and all, and all the vegetation to, to get that, that um, nutritional value to... So, you know, to, to train, cause it's uh, the food, you know, the energy transfer cycle, you know, it goes from, they go, the energy goes from the plant to the zebra and then the energy goes from the zebra into the lion. But people don't understand a lot of these things. You got mediocre, elite, intelligent people trying to debate points. And this is why I'm, where social media also is like, shows its cons because certain people shouldn't have a platform because they don't have enough facts to sit on a platform and just blab their opinions that make no sense. Anyways, so I'm going to tell y'all, um, get some ackee too, because, uh, you know, back in the G, I used to do the ackee and saltfish. Now, I'm going to put y'all on game. I do the ackee pasta, the vegan ackee pasta, and it's lit. Oh, God, I almost ate, I pretty much ate the whole pot yesterday, bro. I ain't going to cap. I damn near ate the whole pot. Oh, God. Oh God, I wish you could smell it through the phone. Get that ackee pasta on deck. 
Yeah, oh yeah, y'all, y'all get y'all some water. Get y'all some lighters. You know y'all gonna need some lighters because half of you mofos don't know how to make no fire. So if if it all hits the fan, y'all ain't gonna be able to cook your meat because if there's if they if they put a plug on a power grid, you know what I'm saying? People ain't gonna have no 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 uh, electric stove to cook no damn meat and they don't know how to make fire. So what you gonna do? Y'all gonna have to damn near be vegan or you gotta hunt yourself. People don't even wanna hunt. The animal gonna kill your ass while you trying to hunt. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So it, it helps when you're vegan, cause at a certain point, all you gotta do is pick your food. Your food don't fight back. Your food do not fight back. You want a lobster? That shit gonna be trying to fight your ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, you ain't killing me. You know what I'm saying? But um freaking Yeah, man, so um <laughs> I you know you don't want to be fighting with your food or whatever like that. But anyways, if they pull that power grid, you're screwed. Get you some lighters, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna need y'all some lighters. Get you one of them straws that where you could drink light from the toilet, you know, filter the water out. You know what I'm saying? They got they got them at Walmart. It's like $14 a straw. I know y'all wanna hit the club this week and get y'all some some Hennessy and alcohol on that freaky stuff to show out the whole bunch of people who are balling out only for this week. You know what I'm saying? Who know, who don't care who you are, won't know who you are. I know a lot of people like showing out for all that. I know you you know you want to save your money to do that, but I think this week you might want to invest. Get you some lighters. Get you some canned foods. Get you some string beans, some green beans. They're like, oh my God, where's the meat? Where's the meat? So we want the meat. Um, you know, I can't tell y'all about the meat stuff. I don't know because y'all gonna have to freeze the meat. You gotta freeze the dead animal. Um, and then y'all gotta heat it back up. It's a whole process to cook the dead animal, man. So I don't know how y'all gonna do if shit hits the fan, bro. Uh, or y'all gonna have to eat a whole lot of ravioli with them GMOs. That's what happens. These people are smarter than y'all think. We're 50 years behind. How many times I gotta tell y'all that? I don't think y'all take it seriously when I say that. I think y'all like, oh, what are you talking about? He's crazy. Mind you, I'm into technology. I write code for this type of stuff. I'm telling y'all we're 50 years behind. You don't have to take take my word for it. Just get screwed when it hits the fan and be unprepared. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, when they when they uh when they pull when they pull that grid, it's it's a wrap, G. It's a it's a wrap. But we're 50 years behind. They understand that if you are home eating unhealthy food, you're going to die anyways because you're going to get fat or fatter, you know what I'm saying? I don't know who, and I'm not talk, trying to body shame or talk about anybody specific, so please, hopefully, y'all don't get offended about the whole thing. I don't care. I don't care what size people are. I really don't um, at the end of the day because I will never care about something more than the person does, but... If someone is bigger and they want to they wanna get to a healthier size or a healthier weight, I'm all for it. I'm all here for you. I'll help, you know, with all whatever details I know to try to help you get right. Some, to, all, to all those who don't care, who don't love themselves, whatever, that's on you. But um, the reason I was recommending some canned vegan foods is because if you stay at home and you're not like the way they're talking about it, you can't really go outside. As they put it, you got to be in your bubbles. You're not going to have much means to exercise and do all that. And you're already eating unhealthy foods, eating dead animals with a lot of fats and a lot of, you know, things in there. Like even when you cook meat, it gives off carcinogens. You may not know that, but you cooking meat, it gives off carcinogens as you cook the meat. So there's going to be a lot of things you're doing in your household, consuming, all that. Even like I said, if you are consuming these canned meats and raviolis and GMO foods, your health is going to deteriorate. Then this, whatever they creating in these labs or whatever happening with these deltas and alphas and all this type of freaky stuff going on, right? It's going to we it's gonna get to your body and weaken you. And it's going to kill you. So one way or the next, the plan is, is, is death. That's guaranteed. So you got to know how you want to play this game. Y'all better learn how to fast. You better learn how to go off of water for one week. You better learn how to go off of water for a day. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you're going to have to figure it out. Because like I said, there's not going to be any alarm that goes off. Hey, guys. Or announcement. Hey, guys. We're shutting the world down. We're pulling the plug. Nope. Nobody knew 
It was happening when they will tell everybody to suffocate yourselves to death. Breathing your own waste, telling you, you know, you're going to save a life or wear a mask. Nope, they, nobody seen that coming. Oh, well, people been talking about it, but nobody listened. But it just happened. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be the same thing with a lot of other things. And life as we know it is going to change. So if y'all see this, please take this seriously. Start preparing your household. Start preparing. Even if this doesn't happen, you got food for two months. That's the worst case that's going to happen. You got food, you got toilet paper, you got a water. You know, I can say one of them straws for the water. Because, you know, in Florida, they got boil water alerts. You know what I'm saying? Like when the hurricanes hit and stuff hit the fan, they'll tell you sometimes you got to boil your water. When, you know, the hurricane season and all that stuff. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They have, they'll tell you boil your water. So if you ain't got no electricity, you can't boil no damn water. Y'all need to get you on um, one of the little generator things as well. You know where you go, uh, that the portable ones, you plug it into the wall and it holds power. You can power up a TV and all that stuff. Not to say you want to power up a freaking TV, but um, you want to have that just in case you still have some type of portable power and electricity. Um, get y'all some flashlights. Get y'all some candles. I'm serious, man. You know, um, and candles for light. Uh, and, you know. When it comes down to batteries, if y'all have enough batteries, and candles gonna gonna come in gonna come in handy. So make sure y'all have that. Um, you know what I mean? What else you want? I don't know. Some sugar, maybe some um organic brown sugar. I mean organic cane sugar, right? Get you some, get some organic food for your pets. You don't have to do what I'm doing. You know you can get them BS, but like I say, I I get. I, I treat my animal how I want to be treated. So I get my guy. I get my guy the USD organic, non-GMO food. Yeah, they got them for pets too, man. You look, you'll find. I even got the non-GMO gum. I haven't even really, I ain't even tried it. I ain't even capping with y'all because I got two unopened packs right here. I got flavors. You come to my spot, I got flavors, baby. I got, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you want, whatever you need, we got it organic. Got our organic down to my freaking detergent. The organic laundry detergent. God. I ain't playing. I ain't capping. The organic fabric softener, organic detergent. Y'all are like, going too crazy right now. Nope. I just love myself. You got to treat yourself right. Like a king or a queen or a god or a goddess. Come on now. Anyways, I think we approaching like about 45 minutes on here. Um, so we touched a little bit about Afghanistan. We touched a little bit about the effects of all that was going on, which I was just talking about now, how you really should be prepping yourselves because you never know what's going to happen. Uh, and we talked a little bit, you know, about the whole weight thing again. Not really. We really talked about it. Just kind of like mental, the mental side of things and stuff. You know, went a little bit into the Bible, um, you know, on that verse, like I said, because sometimes people try to argue and um, they use these references. But yet they're not even like conducting themselves how the reference they stated said they should be conducting themselves. If you all followed me on that. So anyways, um, yeah, I think I think this is cool, man. We're touching a good amount of stuff. Um, hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Hopefully y'all learned a decent amount of information. Hopefully I clarify some stuff or whatever that may not have been clear in the past. Let y'all know it's all about love at the end of the day. But sometimes when I get off here, I'd be like, damn, did I make these people feel bad? Cause I go hard. You know what I'm saying? I go hard, strongly opinionated the whole nine, but I got a lot of facts behind my quote unquote opinions. You know, it's, it's more so factual than opinionated, but anyways, um, but yeah, I do be thinking about that just in case y'all don't think like I be thinking about how y'all feel and stuff. So I always try to make sure um, I don't come off like a certain way to the people watching and I come off more like encouraging because I mean, yo, you let's like watch the Kevin Samuel. Sometimes you got, there's no way to tell the raw truth and, and, say, and that's why they say it is what it is. You know, it's just I could I could look to try. That's try like the, you know. That's why I use the word try, and it's why because in some language, some languages, the word try don't exist. So, but I look to um, put my messages out in a way where 
it's going to be more helpful than hurtful to people. But granny, you can't help everybody feeling. Somebody going to get hurt by it regardless anyway. So, you know, that's just how it is sometimes. But I am about to, uh, you know, get on my day, the whole nine. I got to drink me some water, all that stuff, you know. And y'all shit too. Um, and uh, we'll be back and chit chat probably tomorrow or so. You know, so until then, love you all. Um, help us wealth. Make sure that um, y'all take heed to a lot of those things because if you ain't heard of it and you heard it here first, it's a blessing. Don't let that go to waste. Don't let it go in vain, all right? So I'm about to be out this thing. Deuces.